Hello everybody, it's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. I am. I'm glad it's Friday, even though it was a short week. Okay, so I know I'm going to be using some retired product. I'm using some of the round and square brads that Stampin' Up! used to sell, but you can use any brads you have. I'm also using this Charming Sentiment set because I wanted to use the Congratulations. This is also retired, but if you have it, great. If you have a different sentiment, awesome. I'm also going to be using um, a little tassel that I got um, in a keychain pack. I'm using Cherry Cobbler ink, and then I have Old Navy cardstock and Basic White cardstock. I'm making a graduation card, and these two are the colors for the graduation. So let's go ahead and get started and cut. Um, I know I like to stamp first, but I need to cut my pieces down. So first things first, we want to cut our card base at four and a quarter by 11. So it's already 11 this way. We need to cut it on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter. Okay, so you can, um, we're going to need another piece of this in a minute. We're also going to need a pencil. And what we're going to need to do is um, at, let's see here, at two and one eighth, we need to um, make an indent or a pencil mark. I'm going to do both just so I can see it. Oh, maybe not. I'm only going to do the indent. Let's make it a little more pronounced because we're going to need to do some cutting. We're also going to score this in half at five and a half on the 11 inch side. Okay. Then we also need to mark on both sides at Let's see here. At seven and a half. So I want to do it with my piece that I um, did the two and one eighth on the right hand side. So I need to mark this at seven and a half. And I'm going to do it on both ends. Okay. And then we also need to mark it at three and a half on both ends. Okay, so now what we're going to do is oh, let's see here. I want to make sure I got this right. Okay, so from the seven and a half inch mark to the three and a half inch mark, we are going to line those up into our, um, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna put a pencil mark here so I could see it better. We're going to score. So you're gonna wanna line up your three and a half inch mark there and then your seven and a half inch mark there, and you're going to score just like this. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing going the opposite direction. So I have my three and a half inch mark and my seven and a half inch mark, and I'm going to score. Okay, so it made this little triangle Let's see here. I'm gonna push this in so you guys can see. So it make it's gonna fold in like this at a point. Okay. Now what we're going to do is on the top, which this is the top, we are going to cut this down. I'm trying to see where I want to cut it. Or well, I'll tell you here. Let's first cut a square 
that is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Because that's going to be the hat for our. Okay. Yeah, so I was right. Okay. Where I put my two and a half eighth inch mark, I'm going to bring it up to here and cut some of that off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mark there and my seven and eighth inch mark there and cut it off like that. And like that. So let's do this again. Oh, yeah, didn't I didn't put it in the center. <laughs> Let's try that again. We're just going to make a line here where I need my straight edge. I don't know what I did there, but I did not line that up centered. But now it's centered. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. So this is what your card's going to look like. This is now extra piece of cardstock. Now I want to cut a piece of basic white cardstock that is three and one eighth by three and one eighth. No, sorry, three and one eighth by four and one eighth. Because we want it to come down here. Okay, and then I'm also going to cut a piece that is three by three. Okay, so let's move those two sections out of the way. So we have a three by three, a three and an eighth by four and an eighth. And then our card base. We can get rid of our paper trimmer. Now I'm going to bring in my real red ink and I'm going to stamp congratulations on the bottom of my basic white piece. Stamp this right at the bottom. Just like that. We're done stamping. Let's add this to the inside of this. Okay. Then we're going to first on the back of this I'm going to find my center, so I'm just going to do an X across it 
And this is on the back of the piece, actually. That's the back. And I'm doing this so I know where to put my tassel. So then I'm just going to use my pokey tool and poke a hole right there in the center. And I'm going to take a white brad and my little white tassel. And I'm going to add this in the center. You know what? I just thought of something I want to do. So if you guys don't mind... I'm going to grab a die set um, and we are going to cut out their, the initials of their school. So give me one minute. Okay, so we're going to use the mini alphabet dies, and I'm sorry I added this at the last minute, but I just think it'll be so cute. And I have a scrap of real red right here. Okay. this in really quick and I'm going to die cut out a U and an M. Oh. Well, hold on. I forgot it was the whole sheet. So hopefully if I do this right you and okay okay Hopefully I got both the letters. I did. Perfect. So I want the U and the M, which is in the plate. I'm just punching these out in case I want to save them. Okay, so I thought I grabbed the U, but did I only grab the V? Oh, well. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. 
We will cover that up. Okay. So let's add dimensionals to our hat to put on the white piece. Take the backing off. And we will add it to our basic white square. Okay. We'll glue that down. Okay. And then let's do Just like that with their school logo. And we have our graduation card, nice and completed. And then I'll make my message and send off my little gift. So thank you guys for watching me today.